guess I am next, not Dave. So uh, I'm an earthquake seismologist. I have a research faculty appointment in the department. And I'm also on the staff of the University of Utah Seismograph Stations, or UUSS. So I'm mostly going to talk about the seismograph stations today. Uh, for two reasons. First, I'm the only one from the seismograph stations who's giving one of these presentations. And secondly, a uh, big part of my job is basically providing uh, technical and scientific support for the seismic network operations. So this is the seismic network on the left. There's a key and uh, some numbers over on the right. The upper right is the UUSS mission statement reducing the risk from earthquakes in Utah through research, education, and public service. We're funded to monitor the two regions shown by the uh, dotted black boxes on the left, Yellowstone region and the Utah region. So um, basically, what, uh, what good is seismic network data besides uh, producing seismicity maps like the one on the left? Well, seismic networks <coughs> provide, including the UUSS network, provide data for at least uh, eight different applications that I could think of. The first is quickly and accurately informing the public and emergency responders after significant earthquakes. The initial information is from automatic data processing at UUSS. This is promptly uh, reviewed and corrected as needed. Uh, secondly, determining locations and rates of earthquakes for hazard analyses, especially in the magnitude five and a half to six and three quarters range. Why this range? Well, these are earthquakes that are big enough to be potentially damaging, but they're not quite big enough to cause surface displacement that's large enough to be preserved uh, for a long time. Okay, uh, the third was uh, engineering ground motions for uh, or ground motion studies for engineering design. Uh, you can use small earthquakes for that as well because uh, you can use those to test models for predicting ground motions from larger earthquakes like the Bora Peak earthquake on the left. Uh, identifying and characterizing man-made seismic events including explosions, seismicity induced by mining <coughs> fluid injections, research on earthquake source processes, determining subsurface velocity structure, uh, volcano monitoring up in Yellowstone. Uh, volcanic eruptions are a lot more predictable than earthquakes. Uh, finally, earthquake early warning, which will probably come to Utah at some point in the future. So uh, I've personally worked on six out of these uh, eight items. I've also done some work with GPS data and some work on uh, high resolution uh, imaging uh, the Great Salt Lake Fault with seismic reflection data, and Dave will probably talk about that.